Hey, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and I'm coming to you with another video. I thought it'd be fun to turn on the camera and show you how I lighten up my current space with some touches of spring. Now, I know it's winter, but we're going through a period where one day may be warm and one day may be cold and kind of getting tired of the winter decor. So stay tuned and see how I add a touch of spring to my kitchen. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be the first to know every time I upload a video. Stay, stay tuned and thanks for watching. All right, well, you know the deal, family. We can't decorate unless we have a clean space. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just tidying up every area in the kitchen and I'm gonna change the decor as I go. Starting with this area, the microwave previously sat here, but I decided to move the coffee maker over um, just to see how I like it over there. Not really sure about keeping it because all of my coffee cups are in the contain in the cabinet on the other side of the refrigerator. So I'm either going to have to move the coffee cups to above this area or Put the coffee maker back but we'll see so this is what that looks like and now i'm going to clean off the old coffee maker side and set up the microwave and you know just give it a couple of days and see how i like it you tell me in the comment section what you think about it now here is my first piece of spring i just added a little greenery and um some glassware and a rustic feel just to see how I like it, really simple. And this is the finished product. Really simple, but a nice touch of green. After cleaning off the stove, I decided to tackle this other side, which is really junky. It has too much stuff over there. So I'm gonna first take everything off, wipe everything down, get it fresh and clean. And then I'm gonna put some simple decor. Again, I'm just putting touches of spring so I actually um, just decided to add greenery. Uh, in this frame, I actually still had the old fall flowers, but this was the final look after I moved them away and added some greenery. Now it's on to tackle the dishes, get those out of the sink so I can wipe that area clean and move on to the next side. So as you can see here, those are the old flowers, but this is the new. Just a, a light touch of green next to my really true green plant. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, the island of no return. Everything ends up on our island, y'all. I don't know what it is, but every single thing that we have in our hands always ends up on the island. Or when I'm cleaning, I move stuff from one area and put it on the island. So by the time I get to the island, it's full of all of this stuff. So let's work for just a minute to, to clean off the island and get it fresh and clean. And then let's add a touch of greenery here. Those trays my husband and I eat off of, so I try to keep them clean and keep them out of sight, but I'm gonna have to find another area for them and get all of that stuff off the top of the refrigerator. It's really getting on my nerves. The product that I have in the spray bottle is Fabuloso. I'll have a link to any products that I use in the video down in the description box. If you wanna purchase the item, please use the link that I provide. It really helps me out. This candle is by Bath & Body Works. It's called Cactus Blossom. It was a gift from a friend and I never purchased that scent but as you can see from that candle that I just started burning maybe a week or so ago, it's almost gone and I absolutely love it. This old picture I had in my kitchen before we moved into this house, it has sort of a country feel, but I just absolutely love it and I didn't want to get rid of it. This is my first time using it. I've never put flowers in it, but I think it's cute. Now the first greeny, greenery didn't match the two picks didn't match each other. So I went and got um, two that were, another one that was more si a similar shade. And this was the final outcome. How do you like it? Let me know in the description box. I don't have 
kitchen and the greenery looks like but I still hadn't swept and mopped the floor so let's do that and if you stay to the end I'm also going to share a meal that I prepared for a cold winter day so stay tuned for that I don't have to party to have fun you see I got different hobbies and that's all I need some say life is boring, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dream. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, all hard work's gonna be worth it. day and it's actually a cold wet and rainy day so my husband and I went out in our ministry that morning but I decided to come home and fix us a hearty soup so what I did was I put on some ground beef and then now I'm gonna cut up some onion to go in um, the soup uh, go into the ground beef so that it can um, uh, cook and the flavors of that onion can get into the, excuse me, it's not ground beef, it's ground turkey, get into that turkey. So here I am putting the onion into the turkey and I'm gonna let it get soft and let the flavors permeate through the ground turkey um, while it's getting brown. Um, what I like about turkey, it doesn't have a lot of grease and stuff. I actually didn't even have to pour it off. So now I'm gonna cut up, cut my cans. I'm using uh, mixed vegetables, okra, corn, and tomato, and one um, rotel. This is a mild rotel. You can use medium, you can use hot, whatever you like. I use two cans of tomato, okra, and corn, and two cans of mixed vegetables. Now, I normally add the rotel first and let that cook a few minutes 
um, in the ground turkey. So I'm going to stir that up and then put the top on for about five or 10 minutes and let that um, cook down a little bit. And then after some time has passed, I'll add two cans of mixed vegetables. You can use frozen, you can use fresh. You don't have to use the okra, tomato, and corn. That's just what we like. We like the combination. You can use any types of vegetables that you wanna make and put into your vegetable soup. You don't even have to use the ground turkey. You can use um, ground beef. You don't have to use any um, meat at all. You can even use chicken. It's really up to you. So I'm just showing you our version of this particular soup. I, there are, I have several soups that I make. But this one is quick and easy, and it really tastes delicious. I add um, Himalayan pink salt and pepper, and really, that's it. Um, so we're going to let that cook, really um, get to boiling, and then we're going to let it simmer for a while. My husband loves cornbread with his soup. I wasn't in the mood to make a homemade cornbread. So here I am with the Martha White cornbread mix. Uh, one pack of that and then the instructions actually tell you how much milk to use but I just use it until it gets to the consistency that I like I do a little bit and stir and then I know how much to add if it gets too soupy for you by the time you let it sit and grease your pan it'll thicken up a little bit so here I am stirring that up and then I'm going to spray the pan or let me decide which pan I'm going to use because one I thought was too big, but then I thought about it and I used it anyway. So I sprayed the pan and um, I like to heat the pan up before I put the cornbread in it. So I'm going to check the soup, just stir it a little bit, put the pot top back on and I'm going to cut it down and let it start simmering. And then I'm going to put the frying pan, or I, one thing I didn't show you, I put the frying pan in the oven and let it heat up. And now I'm adding the cornbread mixture. I use, uh, I go by the instructions that says 20 minutes in the oven. So I always set my timer to 20 minutes. And then um, when it's done, I'll butter the top and then I'll put it back in on broil. As you can see, it's not. Um, dark enough at least not dark enough for me so i butter it down really good i don't know why this particular batch separated like that but the bread was really good so after it gets brown it's but i can still see that it's buttery but i'm, I'm going to add just another sliver of butter to the top because my husband just loves buttered cornbread and we are by the time the time this is ready the soup is ready we are good to go so I am going to just get me a little taste of cornbread. I'm, I really am not supposed to be eating bread yet, but sometimes I just got to taste it. And I'm going to fix me a little soup. And we are going to snuff, we are going to be cuddle buddies with our food and our TV for the rest of the day. So here's the meal that I prepared. The soup was really good, you guys. I'm glad you've watched to this point and thank you so much for watching.